WhatsApp Paninha. Yeah. WhatsApp Paninha. That's it, you got it. What is up, everybody? My name is Dane Thompson, and you're watching What's Happening? Woo! This is the weekly, well, supposed to be weekly series, where I catch you guys up to speed on things that are happening on the Burn Down YouTube channel, because majority of the time when I'm filming, I'm actually trying to get stuff done and then kind of concentrating so I don't really screw things up. So this is where I can just sit and BS and um, kind of get my point across let you guys know what's happening. So, a lot has gone down. I haven't done what's happening in a while. I literally have been running around like a chick with my head cut off, trying to get the car ready for zip tie. Um, I built the mini monster for my son for Christmas, so he really enjoyed that. Um, trying to still bring you guys content and then work full time on top of that in between all the other fun things that I got going on. So, um, lots of cool things coming up this year, hopefully. And I don't like to talk about a lot of the stuff that we have or I have in the works because you look like a real big jackass when it doesn't show up because a lot of times you start talking and things start kind of going back and forth and then sometimes um, all these great ideas and plans don't materialize. But what I can tell you guys about is zip tire drags. My car is actually running for once. I'm very excited about that. Um, it seemed to do pretty well. I'm, I'm going to give it Hopefully a once over tomorrow, maybe when we get to zip tie, if I have some time, I wanna crawl around, just make sure nuts and bolts are tight, all those sorts of things. And then I'd like to get a fresh set of plugs, gap those and throw those in when we're at the track. Um, fresh oil has all that fun stuff. The car did great at Irwindale, considering it was an ice skating ring. And it's funny cause the car, I made four hits, one of which was good. The other three were pretty much crap for the most part. But you get, a big percentage of people that are like really excited that you you actually came out and the car finally works and kind of does stuff and then you have another percentage of people that are like well now you need suspension now you need to turn it up what are you gonna do for injectors need more motor and um, I just want to sit back and take a break and kind of relish the victory that the damn thing stayed in one piece considering if you've been following me along uh, you know that I put that nine inch under there you know that I built that power glide I have no idea what I'm doing um, and it's staying together for the most part. So I'm happy with that. We'll see how many runs we get and if it wears out, we'll yank it back out and we'll kind of go through it. And I can go over that on here with you guys. But uh, for the most part, I'm having a great time. I think there's plenty of room to improve on the car and not so much just making all out power. I'm on a 235 drag radial, Mickey Thompson, the Super Street or Super Sport or whatever it is. And the ones that were on the car are two years old. I finally got a fresh set. We're gonna break those in right over in um, and in Tucson at zip tie drags, but for the most part, suspension, power management, uh, tuning, the tune's pretty decent in the car, and then um, stripping the weight out of the car, because now that it is, it's always gonna be a street car, but it is a purpose-built street car, and the purpose for the car is to be borderline street legal for California and go as fast as humanly possible in that bucket um, until I'm actually really afraid of it, but we're just conti gonna continue to go. Um, the big overall dream for the car, if people are wondering, you know, where do you stop, where do you go from here, what are you actually doing with that thing? I've always wanted to do drag week, although that is very far back east and I don't think I have the skill set and everything necessary to do drag week. Um, I think Rocky Mountain Race Week would be feasible with that car. We may look into trying to do that next year. I'll see how, you know, the chips fall. But that ultimately, that's why I want to keep it street legal because I want it to drive from track to track. Um, if we can pull that event off, if I get to go out there, it's not to win. It's just to finish. It's to have a good time, meet people. Um, just like Zip Tie, just like LS Fest. You can only have so much fun in the garage by yourself talking to a camera. And then you get out and you get to actually meet people. And um, they enjoy the car and all the stuff and appreciate it as much, I think, when you're in person. More so than sometimes being behind camera and all that. So I really like the live events. Um, I think I do really well at those. And I'm the same guy there that I'm here. If you see me, I got a whole stack of stickers we're bringing out. I will be passing those out. Come say hi, share your story with me. I'm just an average car guy like everybody else. If you wanna know anything, questions about the Malibu, all that stuff when I'm out there, uh, like I said, feel free to find me, find me down, swing by, say hi. Um, even if I'm laying under it and it's like, I'm not having the best event, I'm still very approachable because when I go to these events, 
I'll try to fix the car if I think it's capable, but I'm definitely not wasting my whole weekend if something goes wrong with the car and it's kind of a bit too much. I can work on my car at home. I can't hang out with people in Tucson, Arizona if I'm just locked down. So keep your fingers crossed that that thing makes a hit. I'm trying to race off the trailer. That way we just kind of get a one and done. And that way it's fair. We both unload. You're on what you brought. Hope you brought enough. And then we'll progress from there on the weekend. Um, I am going to take my camera, film as much as I can of my experience. Um, I do a few different interviews and stuff for some other things for Driveline uh, Magazine. But yeah, for the most part, I'm just looking forward to having fun. So like I said, the car actually functions. It actually runs for once. I put new livery on it. Um, I actually am sitting by my new to me used tires and then the new rims. So I'll have mismatched wheels going on the car. But other than that, that's kind of my catch up for you guys for what's been going on. Um, also, if you haven't noticed your caught wind, um, Happel is going to send me a war throttle body um, in the mail, which is very cool. I kind of jumped on uh, his mail time and I was like, oh, I really like that. Or it was that Instagram post that he, he posted up and I'm like, that thing's my jam. So he got a bright pink throttle body and apparently he sent that my way and uh, he was very kind to give me a shout out and all that. So if you were here from Sloppy and then you're watching this, uh, thank you very much for the support and I, I hope you like the channel. I think it does. It fits really well within the sloppy community because a lot of the stuff you see is because of Happel. And then there's a few different things that I think I want to kind of cover and get on with um, on my car specifically, which will be fun for everybody too because it'll be a learning experience. Namely, I'd like to do a hot setup. And I know that some people push them, some people haven't, some people say you can, some people say you can't. Well, the intercooler's got to come off the car because I want to stuff it on the, on the Twinnebago, which starts right when I get back from Tucson. i got to get cracking on my Winnebago. So when we get far enough, the intercooler comes off the car. So I'd like to put some man-sized injectors on the car, maybe a larger turbo, and then stuff the rest of the crap on the Twinnebago and get that functioning properly. Um, so yeah, we're going to explore a hot setup and push that and see how we go. And I know that if we can do a decent one and make a decent amount of power, I already know it'll put down over five at the wheels on a hot setup, but I'd like to see how far we can kind of stretch it. Um, and hopefully bad things don't really happen, but that would save the cost of plumbing. That would save the cost of uh, intercoolers or water to air, any of that stuff for you guys that might be watching. And hell, why not save some weight too and, and a headache and leaks and chasing leaks and all that stuff. Cause that's one thing with turbo cars is it always seems like something wants to leak and it's, it's always a pain in the butt, but anyway, so that's it. That is enough rambling from me. So Tucson, Arizona this weekend, if you're there, come say hi. Um, I'm going to be filming, taking pictures, a lot of fun stuff. I'm racing the F-Bum. So Richard, I hope your car is 100%. I hope it's put together. And uh, hopefully we have a hell of a race because I'm just going to send it. We're going to bring it and I'm going to give you whatever the Malibu has and hopefully the chips fall where they may. So other than that, as soon as we get back from our epic weekend, it is all hands on deck because I have to get the Twinnebago running and driving, ready to roll to Vegas from Southern California by the end of April, which is no small feat. Um, I have friends and people that are willing to help. I'm going to take all the help I can get because I'm just one guy, but um, I don't know. We're going to give it hell and that thing is going to make it to Vegas come hell or high water. <laughs> I told my wife, I said, even if I can't sleep in it, which I'd really like to just use it. Like I want to show up and be like, this is my motorhome. We're sleeping in it. It functions properly. Absolute worst case, if I could just drive the damn thing, we got to trailer my car with my truck and then rent a motorhome. That thing is gone. The Malibu was going to LS Fest this year too. So, um, and then a quick side note, the only other big event this year possibly is I think we may fly to Bowling Green for LS Fest East. So I'm tentatively writing that on the schedule. Um, I'm not going to try to drag the Malibum. I don't think at this point, I think that's kind of outside of the realm of possibility right now, but I can sure get on a plane and fly out there and take the family and enjoy, uh, the weekend out there at LS Fest East. I'd really like to see the real deal and, uh, visit some of the guys from Holly. I'm sure I'll see everybody at LS Fest West over here. So looking forward to it. We got some cool events coming up this year. And then namely, I have a few other things in the works as soon as those unfold and I get confirmation that it's actually going down. I would love to share all that stuff with you guys. Um, but until then, I'm not going to say anything because then I'll look like an idiot, like I'm the guy that makes promises that don't happen. So I can promise you zip tie, promise you LS Fest, and then maybe we'll go visit LS Fest East. If there's any other good events, 
or like big events or things going on that are local to like Southern California, maybe a couple states away, where you guys would like to see me drag the album out there, maybe do some racing or do whatever, uh, hit me up on here. Let me know if there's some events that, that are over there. Um, I'd like to head out toward Bakersfield and maybe do like, I don't know if I want to race Red List, but something along those lines, kind of go look at that. The, the Northern California scene, those guys are real fast up there. And other than that, just have some fun, enjoy the car, and then learn suspension tuning and stuff. And I'll bring you guys along for that because I know zero about it right now. But we are going to get there. So that is it. Thank you for spending your time with me. Thank you for listening to me ramble. Comments, questions, concerns, leave it all down below. Yes, people ride horses in front of my house every day. And then uh, off the top of my head, I can't think of anything else good. So that's it. I got to go pack. I got to go to Arizona. I'm out. <laughs>